video, I want to talk about the next step after you first create your contest and enter your contest settings. So obviously the next step is going to be to start getting people to sign up for your contest. And you're going to do that by using the embed button in the options here when you're on your main dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the embed button in one of the test contests that I'm running right now. And when I click on embed, it's going to give me a couple of options in order to get my contest out in front of people. First, it's going to give me a text link if I want. So I can click on this button and this will give me a text link that will link directly to my contest. It's going to also let me get a button for my website. So this is similar to a text link except for it's a clickable button that I can put on my website, put in a blog post, put anywhere I want so that way I can get people to sign up for my contest. Now if I don't have a website or I don't have an email list to send a text link to, I could use the share on social networks. And this is a really special integration that will actually let me put my contest all over the net on all the popular social networks and if I put it on Facebook it will actually play the contest right inside of the timeline let me show you exactly what I mean I'm gonna go ahead and click on share on social networks and it's gonna give me my options to share my contest I can tweet about it I can make a G plus post dig LinkedIn Reddit, stumble upon, but I'm going to use Facebook, and Facebook is going to be one of the most popular ways of sharing your contest. When I click on the Facebook link, it will take me over to the Facebook share dialog. And here is where I can select where I want to share the contest. I can select it on my own timeline, on a friend's timeline, in a group, or in a page that I manage. So I'm just going to share it on my own timeline since it's just a demo here and I'm gonna make it only for me to see since again this is just a demo for this video I'm gonna click on the share link the dialog will close and I'm taken back to click back rewards now let's go over to Facebook and see what happens so here I am inside of Facebook and you can see the big share graphic that I just made with the play button so people can go ahead and play the contest when I click on the play button look what happens you can see it's actually going to display my contest title and my YouTube video describing my contest. I'll actually let it play. You know, let me uh, mute this. And you can see how this is playing right inside of the timeline. And what's really cool then is what happens after the video is done playing. So let me go ahead and fast forward the video and I'll show you that. I'll just take it to the last couple of seconds of the video and we'll let it play out. And you can see the video goes away and the sign up form for the contest appears with the end date countdown that I entered in the contest settings. So people can now sign up for my contest right inside of the timeline on Facebook. Let me show you what happens if they sign up. So I'll just enter my name and email address. So now that I've entered the contest, I'm actually going to be taken to the contestants area where it's going to show me the number, total number of entries, my number of entries, and my odds of winning. It's also going to give me my social share buttons. Now the important thing to remember here is when somebody who enters the contest clicks one of these social share buttons, they're actually sharing my target URL. They don't necessarily have to be sharing the contest. Now they could share the contest if that's how I have the contest set up, but I can actually have the contest set up to have them share and send traffic to any URL that I want, any URL I want to get traffic to. So when they click this Facebook share button, they're actually going to be sharing my target URL, the URL I want to get traffic to. And anybody that clicks one of their social shares will give them another chance to enter the contest. Doing it this way, the people that enter the contest are giving a strong incentive to actually share my target URL. In this case, I have them sharing my blog. I could have them share any URL I want, but the point is they get a strong incentive to share my URL, to make social backlinks, social posts, uh, you know, to spread my URL around for me so I can get SEO and backlinks for free. So here we are in the software dashboard and you may have noticed this before. You can see there's actually two numbers. 
there's the number 403, and that is the number of signups that I have had to this contest. There's also another number here, 2,675, and that's the number of clicks that I got to my target URL from the people that have signed up to this contest. So even though 403 people signed up, because they're posting links and they're posting backlinks and they're sharing on Facebook and the other social networks, trying to get other chances to win and trying to increase their odds of winning, they've actually sent my target URL 2,675 links. And if you look here, you can see the stats. Notice how the number of clicks that they're sending is much higher than the number of signups. That's because they're all competing, doing all this social posting and backlinking for me, sending traffic to my target URL, hoping to increase their odds of winning. You can actually see I haven't even gotten any signups for the last day, and I'm still getting hundreds of free clicks to my website just because they've already done the posting and the backlinking for me. If I don't want to share on Facebook to get my contest started, I can also share on one of the other social networks. Now, I do want to point out that the contest will not play in the other social networks. It only actually plays inside of Facebook. On the other networks, it will just be a link. But it is important to note that ClickBack Rewards is fully mobile compatible. So if people are on a mobile device, it is responsive and it will work inside of a mobile device. Now the final step obviously in running a contest is to select my winner. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to log into my ClickBack Rewards account. I'm going to click on the sign up count right here. And this is going to show me all of my signups, their email addresses, and the number of clicks that they've sent. You can see the number on the right hand side. That's the number of clicks that each contestant has sent to my target URL. And the more clicks they send, the better their odds of winning. To select a new winner, all I have to do is click on this new winner button and the software will automatically select a new random winner giving extra weight to the people who have sent me more clicks.